Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to scribe using your CNC plasma table. The setup I'm currently running is a Razor Weld 45 amp plasma cutter, the Easy Scribe attachment to it, and the Crossfire Pro plasma table. So I've been getting a lot of questions about exactly what the Easy Scriber is. It is a spring loaded diamond tip uh, engraving tool. There is no air, it is, does not spin, it is not like a rotary tool. To install it, all you have to do is remove all your consumables, put the Easy Scriber inside of your retaining cap, and then install it onto your torch. It is that simple, it is ready to run. Today we're going to be doing a wolf head with flower design. I posted this on a couple different Facebook groups and a lot of guys have been asking for a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do it. So today we're going to be using Fusion 360 for the CAD design, fire control to actually run the table, and then the easy scriber to actually scribe it onto aluminum. So let's uh, get started. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump right into Fusion 360. I'm going to go ahead and assume you already have your SVG ready, your EGXF file ready. If not, you can go ahead and insert that using this. And then a lot of SVGs are available per, for purchase off of Etsy or a third-party program. I know a lot of guys like to use Inkscape to trace them. So once you get that in here and all set up, we're going to go ahead and jump down to Manufacture. Now this is going to be exactly the same as if you're using your plasma cutter. So our setup, again, we're using the Crossfire Pro. Operation type is still cutting. Go ahead and select your origin. And then when you create your tool path, you still want to leave it cutting through. I use the same tool as if I was using my plasma cutter. So again, my razor cut 45. Uh, cutting feed rate, I'll normally bump that up to about 100. And then your geometry, there's no good way to drag and select all, so you actually have to go in and select every single little line. Your heights are still going to be the same. Now your sideways compensation, move it to center. You don't want to go left or right because you're not actually cutting it. You're just scribing it. And then your linking, lead in, lead out distance has to be zero. Same with your pierce clearance, that has to be zero as well. So once you get your tool path made, you're going to go ahead and create NC program, name it whatever you'd like, and now your cut height has to be negative 0.1, uh, pierce delay set to zero, and your pierce height again, point, uh, negative 0.1. Uh, because the Easy Scriber is spring loaded, you want to keep a little tension on that at all times, and uh, this setting seemed to work the best for me. So. Now since we have our NC program, we're going to go ahead and load that up into fire control. I'm going to get the table all set up and ready, and uh, we're going to go ahead and scribe it. Alright guys, so I got the Easy Scriber set up on the Crossfire Pro table. We have our aluminum sheet along with just a couple weights so that way it doesn't move as we're cutting. We have our wolf design already in fire control loaded up. X and Y are both zeroed out. The biggest thing is if you have automatic torch height control, shut that off. You do not want that on. So because we're not using the actual plasma cutter, it will throw an error. As long as everything looks good, you double check, make sure you have room. Go ahead and hit start.
So there it is.